Channel 2 Action News investigates a Georgia website that posts mugshots regardless of how minor the crime or whether someone was ever found guilty. Those mugshots can live indefinitely online no matter what a court decides in the case. Channel 2 Consumer Investigator Justin Gray is here. And Justin, the, this can actually be the first thing to show up when people have a Google search. And Karen, Georgia lawmakers even passed a bill they thought would put an end to websites using police booking photos for profit. But a site called the Georgia Gazette still posts thousands of photos. Even something as simple as an expired tag could label you a criminal online. You look like a criminal. I look like a criminal. <laughs> I do. Yeah, 100%. Google Bowen Mendelssohn's name, and it's right there up top next to his LinkedIn profile. Anyone who's searching online will see my mugshot, and they'll think, like, oh, my gosh, like, what did this guy do? All it says under this mugshot on the Georgia Gazette website is failure to appear. But while Mendelssohn was once arrested and booked for an expired tag, he has no criminal record. All I had to do was go get my license reinstated and that was it. But on the Georgia Gazette, that mugshot lives on. Well, it's clickbait. It's 100% clickbait. LaShawn Presley lost her job as a home health nurse when her clients saw her on the Georgia Gazette. It's my livelihood. It's my life. Presley had three speeding tickets, settled by paying a small fine. But that information, that context, it's not on the Georgia Gazette. Just a mugshot. I lost a job, but I, I lost the capability even of finding another one. The Georgia Gazette is online only, dedicated to posting mugshots, using open records and scraping data from sheriff's offices across the state to post all booking photos, even misdemeanors in 80 Georgia counties. I think what they're doing is despicable. State Representative Roger Bruce wrote the law that was supposed to rein in for-profit mugshot websites. It outlaws charging for removing mugs and creates a formal process where websites must remove mugshots for people not convicted of a crime if they submit a request. It was never intended for people uh, to make a profit off of a mugshot being out there. But Georgia Gazette even puts its own watermark on the photos. Public records, not their property. The site is owned by a man named Matthew Sale. He refused our request for an interview, emailing me, quote, we find it inappropriate to participate in a for-profit endeavor with a competing news organization. It doesn't feel like it's trying to keep the community safe. It feels like it's trying to profit off of people's misfortunes. We wanted to ask Matthew Sale about that. It's Justin Gray with Channel 2 in Atlanta. I'm trying to find the Georgia Gazette. So we drove down near Savannah, Georgia. This address is listed with the Secretary of State's office as the home of the Georgia Gazette, but it's actually a smoothie place. Only after finding Sale has listed an invalid address with the state did we try looking for him at home. Hello, Matthew. We hear you all inside there. We'd like to know more about the work you do at the Georgia Gazette. Georgia law says sites must take down booking photos within 30 days of a request from people who meet certain requirements. Bowen Mendelson says it took him much longer to get action from Georgia Gazette. He even had to hire an attorney before they finally took the photo down. When I Google my name, that's what I see. Sale told me in an email, quote, I want to assure you that the Georgia Gazette fully complies with all Georgia laws. If there are legal concerns surrounding our practices, we believe it's best to address them directly with the relevant authorities. That's one thing Representative Bruce agrees with. He encourages people to take their complaints about the Gazette to their local sheriff. Until he is held accountable and punished for what he's doing, he'll continue to do it. So looking into Matthew Sale, we discovered he has a criminal record of his own. He was convicted of a DUI back in 2010. While we obtained his mugshot through a Freedom of Information Act request, we are not publishing online like he does. But when I emailed asking Sale about his conviction, he told me, quote, stop harassing me, Karen.